Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. Then we had uh, Bronson Reed promo for the main event. It was good. Gunther comes down to the ring for a promo. And he says, you know, this Sami Zayn, nobody more annoying than him. Sami, of course, comes out. He tells Gunther, just admit it. Admit why you won't face me. And Gunther says, well, you know what? Um, I beat you in, what do you say here? I tried to tell you, I tried to beat it into you. You're just not on my level. So Sammy says, I'm the one that beat you at WrestleMania. They put everybody in front of you. You beat everybody. Hall of Famers, until you met me, I pinned you. So you know if we face off for the world title, you're scared it's going to happen again. The fans chanted, you're a coward at Gunther. And Gunther says, you know what? I'm not afraid of you, but I am afraid of my reputation. All of these amazing things I did. You know what? Losing to the better man would have been fine, but I didn't. I lost to you. It's the biggest embarrassment in my career. I brought my family to WrestleMania. And after that match, my father flew all the way from Vienna. And he told me, son, I flew all the way here just to see you lose against that bum Sami Zayn. So he says, I don't expect you to understand. Your family is used to seeing you fail. My family is not. They expect everything from me because I'm special and I'm something you will never be the world heavyweight champion. And so they get into this big argument and Sammy says, your dad, and now he sees you as a coward and Gunther jumps him and they have a big fight. And uh, he goes for the kick. Gunther catches him as sleeper, gives him a scary power bomb, and then tells him, if this is the match you wanted, you got it. And it's that next was, week on Raw. But that was weird. It's yeah. Like, it was, well, it actually gets more weird, Dave. It was really weird because it's like, shouldn't, shouldn't like Sammy, like, not start a fight and get power bombed in like 30 seconds? Dude, it's worse. So Gunther kills Sammy. Yes. In advance of this championship match. Mm -hmm. They then do a segment where Braun Breaker runs into Gunther mm -hmm. and he's staring down his belt. And Gunther says, you know, this guy really is a badass. And Braun says, that's right. And you're going to find out sooner than you think. And I was like, okay, so you're doing Sammy and Gunther. But you killed Sammy on the mm -hmm. go-home show to this match. And mm -hmm. then you shot an angle where Gunther is already getting another challenger past Sammy. Like, mm -hmm. it was so weird that I thought, is Sammy winning? Is Sammy beating Gunther? Because the way they did this show, there's... I mean, you zero could, chance as a fan that you think Sammy has any chance of winning this match. I know. I mean, you—you you, they can do they can do anything. It's not like they they have to worry about business. So, um, you know, and and I think that there's this feeling there that because of what happened in Montreal, that at some point someday they have to put Sammy over. Well, sure, but the problem is he isn't that hot right now. I know. Like this is the worst time to put the title on Sammy. Also, also. He's not the guy. He's not the guy. Like, for the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania, you know, even though it was a makeshift thing, I mean, that wasn't the original plan. Obviously, Lesnar was the original plan. But um, it's like it made sense. It made all the sense in the world for Sami Zayn to win that match. Right now, it does not feel like the time to beat, no. um, um, you know, Gunther. It just feels like Gunther should have... Plus, they, they oh. tease you with a match that is much bigger than Sami Zayn and Gunther, which we've already seen. Which is Gunther and Braun Breaker. Yeah. That's a new match. Yeah. Well, I mean, they could just have Gunther wipe the mat with Sami Zayn and, and Braun Breaker, you know, defend Sami Zayn. Because they did do that promo that would set that up. Yeah, they did. Well, we also, speaking of timing, AOP versus Awesome Truth. And they beat on Truth for a while. He goes to make the hot tag. Miz immediately turns on him. Karrion Cross howling with laughter. Miz walks out. They kill truth. And, I mean, the thing with this is, it was just like, it felt like nothing. Like, we all know Miz is going to turn. And the other thing is, Awesome Truth hasn't even been together in months. It's like, it hasn't been you, you've been watching matches with them and you care that they're together. It's like, yeah. truth is gone for months. He comes back. The very first day Miz turns on him. It's like, I don't know. Plus, truth deserved it. So... Yeah, it meant this. This did nothing for me. Well, it gives them. It gives you know they can do Miz and our truth against each other. It gives them. It gives them something to do. Neither of them have, have anything to do. And what do you you know like 
Who are they going to feud with, AOP? I mean, I guess they could have, but, you know, that wasn't in the cards this time. So then I got to say this. When I looked at the lineup for this show, I thought, you know what? They got a pay-per-view on Saturday. And so the main event's probably going to be something building up a match on that pay-per-view. But it, but it really should be the last monster standing. Well, plus But they... I'm not sure if they're going to do it, but they should because the build for this has been great. Well, the thing the thing is is that if they break the ring, they but can't that's true, yeah. it has to, it has to go on last. Yeah. And I they've been teasing the thing. I mean, I figured that they were going to do a superplex and break the ring. You know, because it's been it, they they've teased that spot. Well, I was so happy that they main evented with this match. And these guys worked their asses off. And mm -hmm. they delivered a really, really good match. And what is even more amazing is I'm not sure it was when a, it was a it was a really long match too. Although I'm, they had a lot of they had a lot of breathing spots to to you know, it wasn't well, like it it wasn't like it was a fast paced match. There was a spot well, hold on, let me get to my point. Okay. What is amazing about this match is that I don't know when it happened, but it was fairly early. Like it was, it was. They had th they had two commercial breaks, and I noticed it after the first commercial break. So it was only like a few minutes in. Braun like hurt his leg somewhere, and dude, this guy could barely. I mean, he tried to do a running spot, and he just oh my God. limped his way across the ring. Yeah, that, like that 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 spot where he shoulder blocked him when he ran across the yes, ring. Yes, I don't that know was... if he hurt his knee. I don't know if he hurt because he was kind of holding like by his crotch, his his quadricep. I don't know if he hurt his quad or whatever but like he couldn't move and he had to do the entire rest of the match and he did it and he didn't do the train spot i don't know if they were planning to do it but like he wouldn't have been able to do it yeah. but man he could he couldn't run he was limping bad they had you know table spots and uh they went through two barricades one of them allegedly wiping out fans so they brought all these security guys down to uh to make sure the fans were alive and so the only thing I didn't like about this match is they made this referee. I mean, he's just a complete idiot, this referee. Well, so, the thing, too, I did not like this guy took two tsunamis and he was back up. Well, the, well, the reason he was back up is because they send out security to take care of these fans. There's like 25 security guys out there. And this stupid ref goes to assist. Yeah. And so Bronson hits his big tsunami and the ref is over with these fans, even though there's 25 other people there to assist the fans. And Bronson's yelling at this ref. And then it was worse, because I don't know if they meant to do this, but Bronson goes to do a second tsunami, and they show, like, the long shot from a uh, camera up high. And the referee is at ringside, and he's, like, going like this to Bronson, like, you know, get down off the thing, ref. The ref's back in the match. So Bronson does the second tsunami, and I guess the ref figured out, shit, I'm not supposed to be here. So the ref goes back to yep. help the fans. And Bronson's like, get back in the ring. So Bronson got screwed here. And so then Braun ends up doing a dive off the post on everybody. And the place goes nuts. They showed like five oh my, replays of this. Well, I mean, my God, the guys that with that size doing that dive. And no leg. Like, I don't yeah. even know how he got up there. So he dives off the top and he kills all these guys. And then uh, he starts climbing up to the top. He throws Bronson in the ring. Bronson throws a chair at him to cut him off. And, of course, they do the big superplex, and the ring breaks. And this idiot ref takes a bump off the side. Well-deserved. And so both guys are down. And the ref manages to get back in the ring, and he starts counting. And Bronson Reed is slowly starting to get to his feet. And all of a sudden, the place goes nuts because here comes the returning Seth Rollins. And he gets in the ring. He's the guy that Bronson put out with six tsunamis or whatever it was. He makes his big return. He gives Bronson a stomp onto the steel steps. Bronson's dead. Strowman somehow gets to his feet, and he wins. Man, they delivered. This was really, really good. It was really well done, yeah. Yeah, very, very well done. With two big guys, one of them who was basically, I mean, on one leg. I mean, they did a hell of a job. So... An excellent celebration to the last three-hour Raw I have to watch for at least three more months. Yeah. I'll take it. Man, though, three hours of Raw and three hours of SmackDown start in January. That I am not looking forward to. Yeah, Are we sure lot. about that three hours of SmackDown? No, we're cooler not. cooler heads prevailed? Um, no, it's not It's not 100%, but it's it's certainly leaning that way. Mm. Um, and then if, if uh, AEW is getting two hours on on the other show... 
Well, before we go today, we've got NXT, the premiere on CW tomorrow night. Yep. It is Ethan Page versus Trick Williams with CM Punk as referee for the NXT title. I do expect a title change there. I also expect a Roxanne Julia title change. I do, too. I think the first night on CW, just go big. Well, that's what they're going to do. It's interesting because this... um... The, I think the biggest rating CW has drawn all year is an 0.14. Oh, so so they'll probably beat they'll that beat that. Pretty, they'll probably beat that pretty handily. Yes, I mean CM Punk's there. They've been advertising yep. it like crazy. I mean, actually, I thought two weeks ago they did an excellent job building up this show. I, I wasn't as thrilled with this past week's show, but we have Wesley and Zachary Wentz in a street fight. Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill will appear. We got the Miz. They're, they're they're doing a lot of appearing. Yeah, the Miz is now a heel, by the way, for Miz TV with Oba Femi and Tony D. Yeah. So I don't to know set, what that means. To set anything. up their match, which will be on the next the show the next week. Yeah. Jada Parker and Lola Vice versus two members of Fatal Influence. So that is the lineup for that show. And then next week's show, we have Oba Femi versus Tony D as noted for the NXT North American title. And Randy Orton versus Javon Evans. Mm-hmm. In yeah. St. Louis. You know, somebody brought up to me, and I don't think it's the worst idea, if uh, if Randy Orton and Javon Evans had, like, a really good match, but instead of Randy beating him, like, you know, two idiots run in, Gallus or whoever, for the no contest, and then, oh, and then they, on and the just... same show in the main event, Randy and Javon versus Gallus, you know, Randy hits the RKO, Javon yeah. hits the big springboard one, and he gets the pin. You could do that. I think sure. that would be a great thing to do. As opposed to just have a real good match and Javon gets pinned. Yeah. So. so I think that one's more likely of the two, though. I hope not. You know, Randy Randy working twice. I mean, you can do it. You know? I mean, the second match, she doesn't have to do anything. Yeah. It's a tag match. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.